as I mentioned, Dialog Studio is a one-stop shop for building, managing, deploying, and analyzing conversational AI applications at scale. Um, we're currently on the bots page. I, I created a, a, a bot for today's session. Uh, we have a few structured intents associated with this, this particular bot. And um, within some of these intents, there's, there's capabilities that, that point to some generative um, just functionality. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to make, to make sure everyone can see. Uh, as you can see, I have the, the test chat opened up. I'm just going to refresh the session real quick. And we're greeted, greeted with just a simple uh, hello, and then asking, how can I assist you today? I'm just going to say, um, I'm going to ask, what is voicebot.ai? And within a few moments, we should get back a response. It says it's a company that specializes in voice technology news research and analysis. Yes, you can help me with something else. Let's say, who is the founder? And I'm just going to keep it generic. And momentarily, we're going to get back an answer. That's contextual. So I guess notice how you know, my, my question of who is the founder doesn't really say who is the founder of voice, voice at the AI. So it's kind of picking up on, on, the, on the context for the rest of the conversation. So just sort of jumping in real quick to show you how this is structured. We'll go to one of the, these intents, the knowledge base intent. This takes us to our canvas. This is our rich no-code um, editor for, for building and managing these types of conversations. And if I click into this particular portion of, of the conversation, um, you can see how this is structured. The, the entry point is into this generative text node. And there's a couple different areas, um, or I guess a couple different inputs to this generative text node. There's a name that you provide, provide for it. In this case, I just called it generated response. So you can use that variable for throughout the rest of the conversation. And then very importantly, you get to select an integration that drives this response. Um, an open AI integration is selected. You can have as many uh, integrations as you like of any particular kind. So you could have like a dev open AI and a production open AI. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we support multiple large language models. Uh, so you could also like pick Cohere AI. And then you have a, a prompt uh, capability. And last but not least, uh, the feature that enabled us to, you know, answer who is the founder without specifically saying who is the founder of voicebot.ai is uh, the ability to, to include the transcript as context to the large language model so it can follow up with, um, you know, the full context of the conversation up to that point. 